how y'all doing? Today we're going to be replacing a idle air control valve for a uh, Saturn SL1, that's the 99 that we're doing today. What you're going to need is, um, I'll start with the part, in addition to the two little screws that come with it. <coughs> uh, to take off the air intake uh, hose and throttle body and pretty much everything, you're going to need a, uh, a ratchet, probably with an extender, then your adapter and a 10 millimeter uh, socket there. A knife, always need a knife, you know, you never know what you're going to encounter when you're working on motor vehicles. And since you got a Saturn, you're going to need this uh, little star hex set because for some reason all the screws inside are annoying as fuck. So, you know, one of these, which I had to purchase specially because the specific part requires it. <clears throat> And that's what you'll find a lot when you're working on cars. In addition to that, to get the clamp off the hose, I'm going to need pliers, but I don't have a decent set, so we're going to use these needle nose pliers. Or attempt to, anyways. Glove, because it's going to get dirty in there. Although, probably two would be better, but hey, you work with what you can. Warm half drink Coke. Uh, combos, preferably. All of which can be bought at your local auto parts store. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is do, 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 pop the little clamps off the air filter here. Pretty simple, no tools required on that one. Okay, so that's going to come right off. While you're in here, you can check your air filter. This is brand new. Because I've got an oil change and transmission flush and all kind of other things to try and fix this problem originally. Okay, you're going to disconnect the air intake from the motor. Just a little rubber tube pops right off. And then, let's see. Are you going to be able to see this? Here's the guy that's going to give us trouble today. There's a little clamp in there as you can see. So, ow, and of course it's really hot. Actually, you're going to want to basically squeeze this till it loosens the clamp and wiggle this little bit right off here from the uh, throttle body. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. We got that off. And I only cried for 20 minutes. So that opens the uh, throttle body up for us. Um, basically what we're gonna do here is, this is a butterfly valve right here. We're gonna take this little string, a little cable from around it, slip that out. Okay, we're free. All right, then down in here, there's two clips you gotta take off. One. And one down in there behind it. We've got those two clips off. Then we got one more up top. That comes off. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, if you can see, throttle body's held on by two bolts. One here. Where's my other guy? Ah, oh, yes, right there on top. So basically what we're gonna do is just uh, loosen those bolts off and pull the throttle body off. And I believe our IAC valve is one of these two that we just pulled the plug off of. So let's go ahead and get it. All right, most important thing to remember here is to just not lose your fucking bolts when they pop off. Because if you do, you're gonna have a bad time. All right, should come off nice and clean because I've pulled this part on and off a few times in the last 24 hours. So the reason we're doing this today is because my car is coming to a sputtering halt whenever I'm in idle or stop and at the suggestion of my father who you know this is used to be his car 
we're going to replace that idle air control valve because he's had the same issue twice before and that's what it always ended up being. So, <clears throat> that's what we're going to hope for. And if not, you know, at least you learned something. Like we got it. All right, so it looks like this is the piece we're going to be replacing here. Um, hopefully, this little part is down where it's supposed to be because I don't have the tool required to loosen it back in. Uh, which you know, it's always something, right? See, fun stuff. These little star hex screws are all over everything on the inside of a Saturn. So, like I said, it might be a wise investment to buy one of these little handy dandy sets here because if you plan on working on anything in a Saturn you're going to encounter these eventually. Listen to me trying to sit here and sound like an expert but I have worked on enough things on this car to know a little bit. This one not been changed in a long time. She got rust on there. It's rusted in. expert to tell that this looks a little off but on a high note our pendle looks like it's just about where it needs to be okay so you can kind of see the difference here this thing's done for. And the funny thing about this is I can tell the part is shot and for some reason it didn't pop a code when I had it scanned at AutoZone. So it's just kind of something you have to know. <sighs> See, look at that. Disgusting. You monster. Delicious. Alright. So we're just going to back on mark these little screws in a little bit So new discovery, and the screws that came with the new part are not just a regular hex, star hex, they got a little spot in the middle. So I'm just going to use the old screws. Oh well. You know, it's, it's lovely. This is why mechanics get paid so much. Because cars are a silly, silly fucking thing. Alright, as you can see here, parts back on. I had to use some ruddy old screws, but now we're going to put the whole thing back together. Just the same thing we did at the beginning, and we're very... Alrighty. And we're back at it. So. Ah. No, don't go. Take the bolts, which I placed there precariously, which was at my own peril. as I can with my hand. That's what she said. 
do, 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 do. So usually I would take the bolts that I'm taking off stuff and put it in my little ratchet set down there. But I wasn't really thinking about it. Must have got camera shut. Okay. Put the top one in. This one, but hey, you can always do it this way. Yum. throttle body back in place first thing we're gonna do here is oh that's not good huh looks like my uh, little clip on the top came off <laughs> fantastic all right a brief intermission okay so it's been about an hour and a half since that thing broke off if anyone ever needs to know that this line runs down and connects to the evaporate canister, or what do we call it? The purge solenoid valve. Anyways, <clears throat> and that is located right above the starter. All right, so not really going to be able to see it, but we're going to clip these two clippy doos back here. I know that the purple one goes on top. Okay. Let me put that back on. Two clips in there. Blue one on the bottom, purple one on the top. This guy's connected. Now we just gotta string this back through. Set this down for a second. Uh, not difficult, but no fun to do with one hand. All right, our last but not least, we're going to put that back, that uh, intake tube back on. All right. Now, again, I'm gonna spare everybody the embarrassment of watching me cry and do this at the same time but I did find my pliers they were just jammed down in here from the last thing I was working on so always remember to get your tools out and I'll be back again with you in a moment all right so what we've got here is we're gonna connect this little uh, tube back here back to the engine again it's just a little tube Okay, that's connected. This actually wasn't that difficult this time. Okay, so that's connected. Come back down here. Okay, we're just gonna shut these clamps back on. One, two. Okay, let's go with the other one first. Jesus. Okay, so our throttle body is mounted. This little thing is back in place. Still no idea what it's called. I had to Google that for like hours. Uh, the tube is sealed on there nice and good. No vacuum leaks. This little inlet right here is connected back to the motor. And that filter's clean and all together. Now I'm gonna reattach my battery terminal because I was screwing around under the car near the starter. And after that, we are done. Alright, so just as a little recap, we have now replaced the idle air control valve. Okay, we figured out where that super little tube runs to for future reference. You know, just in case you ever need that. Like I said, it connects to the uh, <clears throat> evaporate canister, uh, 
purge something valve, whatever, it's above the starter. Yeah, it should pop up when you Google it. Uh, so we replaced that, uh, put the throttle body back on, and reconnected the, the air intake. And uh, that's it. Uh, just to reiterate, despite how expert and pro I looked and the fact that I cut out 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour of me screaming and punching stuff, I am no mechanic. I just figure out what's wrong with the car by Googling it or watching videos or asking people who know a little bit about cars. Then I buy the fucking part and I replace it myself. I'd say seven times out of ten that works. I mean, if you're working on anything in the actual motor or the transmission or electrical stuff or anything like that, chances are you're not going to be able to do it yourself. Um, but yeah, uh, don't waste too much time and money uh, sending your car to a mechanic, especially if you can Google the part and figure out easily online whether or not the repair is something you can do at home. There will be a list of the tools you need. Like I said, all I needed was a, a ratchet um, with a fucking couple connections and a set of pliers. Um, and really, that's about it. Uh, so yeah, this has been my first and maybe only tutorial on how to fix the stupid ass Saturn SL1. Although, I have to fix something every month, so maybe I'll come back and do it again. Uh, like and subscribe and do all that fancy stuff. Leave me a comment. Uh, and I'm going to go out there and turn the car on and see if it's running a little better now that I've fixed that part. Hopefully, because I'm really all out of ideas at this point. But again, the car has 300,000 miles on it, so maybe it's time to part ways. Although, I don't necessarily know <coughs> what I'll be driving in between. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Boop, 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 boop.